Right now at 11, bullets fly inside a packed restaurant as diners, including children, run and duck for cover. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. That shooting happened in broad daylight, injuring an employee behind the counter. And tonight we're learning the suspect had been there before. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram has the chilling video from Astoria. Frightening moments inside of a crowded Queens restaurant Saturday afternoon. Surveillance video shows people, including kids, who were sitting down eating and online waiting for food, running out of the store and ducking for cover after a gunman opened fire. At first, gunshot hit it on the dead side. And once he, we had a lot of customers inside, once he uh, moved around, then uh, he came to hear the shot. And uh, he went inside the, my counter and did a third shot to one of my employees. Abu Tahir, the owner of Boshaki Restaurant, known for its authentic Bangladeshi food, says the gunman, seen here in a mask and red hooded sweatshirt, fired three shots and at one point even went behind the counter. He did not say anything. He just come and just shot and ran away. He tells CBS 2 one bullet hit an employee in the upper thigh. Nelson Burgos, who works nearby, just Jumped into action. And the guy didn't even know he got shot until we saw him bleeding, and then from there I just helped him and I called 911. He seemed calm, and I kept him calm, and you know I just don't wait for the ambulance to be all right. He wasn't bleeding too crazy, so I know he'll be all right. It happened around 3:30 in the afternoon on 36th Avenue in Astoria, Queens. Police say the shooter took off running. While the motive is still being investigated, sources say the gunman got into an argument with an employee in the store earlier in the week. And he shot one. You see the hole in there. Now the shattered glass, a bullet hole and half-eaten food left behind is a grim reminder to this immigrant family gun violence can affect you when you least expect it. Oh, definitely we are scared. To, you know, it's a, we are a small business. I'm really scared to run a small business in the New York City. It's not safe, actually. We are not also safe. Our life is not safe. And police say they are still looking for that man who opened fire. They're reviewing that surveillance video as well, but they're also asking for tips. If you have any information, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. In Astoria, Queens, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.